Hi, we're Am and Nikki from Build with Am and Nikki on twitch.tv slash AWS, and we're here to show you more about the AWS Toolkit for VS Code. Today, we're going to show you how to invoke a function locally right. and even run debug, create a new project, and, uh, and work with it locally. Hopefully, to make your um, serverless app creation much easier. So let's dive in. You ready? Sure, let's do it. OK, so right now, we're in my terminal. And we're in a folder called VS Code, which has nothing in it. It's an empty folder. I'm just going to open VS Code. And now we're in, a, we're in my empty folder in VS Code. So I already have the extension installed, as you can see by this little AWS icon down here. So in order to create a new application in my folder, a new SAM application specifically, I'm just going to use the command palette, which I can pull up by doing command shift P or control shift P if you're on a Mac. You can actually, before we even uh, create one, let's, let's make sure we've got the SAM CLI installed. That's a good idea. So you can do that by uh, going back into your command palette, typing AWS detect SAM CLI. You can see I have it, no setting changes necessary. If you did not have the SAM CLI installed, it would uh, walk you through how to do that. Right. So going back to my command palette, I'm going to do AWS create new SAM application. Cool. And this can actually walk us through. And we're going to do it in Node.js because why not? I want it to be in this folder, but I could also choose a different plate, a different folder for this app to be created. And I need a name for my application. Hardest part of programming. Petunia. Petunia. Always Petunia. And that's it. Now I have a, an app created, as you can see. Um, and this template is a SAM template fully created for me. And if you look at this SAM template and you're familiar with SAM templates, you can see that there is also an endpoint that it, this SAM template will be creating for me, as designated by this. And so the path is hello, and the method is it's a get. So this will actually create an API gateway for us, yep. tie that API gateway to a Lambda function, so that when I invoke that path, it in turn invokes my Lambda function. Is that That's right? That's correct. Great. Now, if we actually open up the code. OK, did you just see that appear? Yeah. What, so we've got some, some text above our code. You see these three things? Okay, yeah. So this is a feature of, so there's a built-in feature of VS Code called Code Lens. And the toolkit is actually integrating with it to, show, to uh, basically have these appear above our function. So if we want to debug this locally, we can actually just do that right here. But first, we need to configure it to actually take in an event that looks like an API gateway AWS proxy event. Right. That's a piece of, of building with serverless architecture is that you, you are invoking a Lambda with an event source. Our event source is API gateway. Right. So we're going to generate a, a fake event, right? So you we clicked are. configure. I clicked configure. And our event right now is just this little empty object. OK. Um, but I can actually use a feature of SAM, the SAM CLI, to generate an event for me, and I can just drop it in there. Let's do it. So I'm just going to type SAM local generate event without a zero, API gateway, AWS dash proxy, and then I'm going to pipe it to PV copy. And this pipe PV copy is just going to uh, take this, uh, so if I were to just click enter after AWS proxy, it would just print it in my terminal. Right. But I actually want to just copy it to my clipboard. Sure. So by doing pipe PV copy, I'm actually copying it to my clipboard. Cool. I'm going to click enter. And then now I can just go ahead and delete this empty object here and paste in from my clipboard. I want to show you a trick here, too. If you do uh, Option Shift F on your uh, keyboard, on your Mac keyboard, or Alt Shift F, auto formats. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, pretty neat. I just learned something. Um, OK, so now we have an event here. And this is an exact event that would be coming from um, API Gateway to our Lambda. Cool. So we can actually debug this locally. Let's add a line of code so that we can break point on something. OK. A console log. Why not? Classic. No. That's a lot to live up to. You're going to have to live up to that for All the rest right. of this tutorial. Fair enough. OK, so we're going to add a breakpoint. And then all we have to do is click Debug Locally. Cool. You ready? Yeah. So in order to debug locally, you do need to have Docker installed. So if you do not have Docker installed, you're going to need that. Because the way that it works, it's actually simulating the Lambda environment by spinning up a Docker container. 
that actually is part of the setup of, of installing the SAM CLI as well. Okay, great. So here we are. We breakpointed here, and you can actually see an event. Oh, there's the event that we just pasted into our uh, configure. That's great. Super cool. Yeah. Awesome. So this is an easy way to get started developing locally with uh, serverless applications by using the AWS Toolkit for VS Code. Join us in the next video. Thanks for joining us.